Coming to you live from the rainy city of Goa, this is Blau vs. Gundui. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now going to be watching Game 5 of the ICGC Championships all the way from wet and rainy Goa. <laughs> and Gundui just does something really interesting. He has his probes just sitting down and doing really nothing at the start of the game. Uh, again, very close. Shakuras is, seems to be a very favorite pla uh, map for a lot of people. And everyone's close positions. And let's say how what they will go ahead and do. You see that everyone's really spamming everywhere. And this is a really interesting part. Well, we'll see how this goes through the rest of the game. As far as the units goes, this is about 9 with the Overlord sitting here. And the production's pretty even. The initial scout from Blood is going in the right direction, and so is this probe. Interestingly, Gundui is not sent out his next, which is the 11th uh, drone, SCV, to go and scout. So there is literally no scout happening from Gundui. And now either he's forgotten about it, and, and he's waiting for this, and there he goes. The question is, shouldn't another one be going out and figuring out what the scouting position is? Because he is going to be finding out where he is very, very, very soon. And we'll see if he actually recognizes it and appropriately expands. One has gone here and this should be waiting and waiting and he's dropped it down. Now interestingly, if you look at this, he has not been able to go see where he is at all but he has gone and expanded here so this is a blind expand that was there let's see if he goes and vamooses out of there as soon as possible he's been scouted out by this nice SCV who says B B B and he's going and working on this entire thing the spawning pool's gone down and this is a very interesting time to go. So it's a 16 pool. If you look at this, pretty droning up. First gas going down, really no gas, and the gas here is for him to be going protecting. This is protected, the gas is down here, another marine's coming down. The question is, after this marine, where does this entire expansion go? If you go back to his base, this is nearly finished. The double expand is ready. Uh, the gas has started pouring in. Uh, this, as soon as he finishes this, he—I don't think he really wanted to go into an expansion here. Some drones transferring, um, and literally, well, nothing really happening. He's going to make sure that he sits here for this interesting scout, and that should be coming down at about eight minutes. And that's a very interesting time push, which a lot of people forget to have supply depot at the back line, the factory going down. And what we really want to go ahead and do is actually look at the worker supply which is and the APM's not really going down. If you look at it they've, they've really maintained this APM for a very long time. Unit compositions, 19 to 19, this should about be same, but the mules definitely bringing in some more. Here comes the Hellion, along with the Queens. And if you look at what the kind of economy it is, he, the Zerg, always invests a little more in economy. There's a little more in technology here, but substantially more in this. The Zerg just wraps this up really quickly in the middle of the game. Boost should be nearly done. He's tried this one little guy here and walked around to look at what's really happening in the map. The creeps overlord spread is really interesting if you see this. This is this is all very strategically placed people. So and these guys are gonna run down here, see what's happening. Spine crawlers coming in, and that spine crawlers should be protecting that base at the front. So, what's what's the interesting part of this entire game is how a lot of people will go and develop this. Oh, and this comes. 
I think everyone goes Infernal Pre-Igniter. So, come on, use Zergs and Terran, tell me. Have you ever played a game where you don't see Blue Flame Hellions? Like, never. Uh, you don't see that. I always believe that's something which you just go against Zerg. It's like a prerequisite. Especially if you go and get a couple of these going. There's a couple of Marauders coming in. And the expansions not really come in. So, uh, if you look at this, the Baneling Nest Nets going down. This. But. The army is pretty even. Not really happening. Unit skill is this. So, let's see. I think this is, this is a very opportune time where something is about to happen. Either Zerg is just going to expand or and there he goes. He's going to try and look at that. He scouts this out. These guys come in here. Let's see how long. Oh! That was such a good split of these guys. And they should be following up. And, and here comes the Banelings. And the Banelings are here. They're just sitting down here. Eighteen more coming in. And that army coming. Ouch, is the word for that. Ouch, he was getting so close to doing this, but that Zergling walk by was a disaster, and I have no idea what this is. So these two should pop right now. Hopefully some of them should come. And now this is more even, but if you look at this, this is something being used by him to go ahead and expand at the back. Units still coming in, but not as high. Uh, but he's expanded onto the spire and if you look at here there comes one factory two factories so this is a big factory play coming in here while we're doing this he's sitting here so goodbye and he's all coming so that's a lot and a lot of pain links so and here this is pretty much the only army he has of uh, 34 of these guys coming in. He's going heavy mech, but I believe if this does not finish on time, he is literally screwed. And I don't even see a lot of tanks coming in, so he's doing this without any tanks. I don't see any tanks coming out, like zero. And now he's putting in tech labs for the tanks. But this is done and he's getting in a tour, but these guys are already here. Oh, 